Welcome back. Cauliflower is the star of this week's Taste Test Tuesday. Chef Candace Conley with The Girl Can Cook is here this morning with a recipe using the versatile veggie. Good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning. Here. Cauliflower is used for everything. I mean, people make pizza crust with well, cauliflower. Well, and you know, it goes vegan, it goes vegetarian, it goes keto, it goes Across every direction you can imagine. Yeah. So you're doing uh, curried cauliflower. Yes. So what is that? Well, you know, cauliflower can take a really long time to cook. So what I like to do is find ways to make it faster for people mm -hmm. so they're more inclined to try it. Um, so this is a stovetop version. It just is olive oil, uh, chopped red onion, mm -hmm. and then the cauliflower is cut up into florets. And then we sprinkle on after it's cooked for about five minutes, because I, I like the, the cauliflower to soften up just a little bit before you put in the spice so mm -hmm. that it wants to absorb it okay. better. Because it's pretty hard vegetable sure. to start with. So this gets all mixed in, and it's very fragrant, as you can tell. I know my stomach's been growling because I just keep smelling what you're cooking over here. So. Yeah. <laughs> if you hear it growling, <laughs> then, forgive me. I am kind hey, of Hey, you know, that's uh, <laughs> we. That's why we cook is for people to eat, you know? Now, do you ever put anything over it, uh, you know, like a lid to, to make it soften quicker? Well, I, you know, you really don't have to with this, particularly because if I don't like it really soft, uh -huh. I like it kind of al dente. A little, a little crunch. Yeah, a little little bit of a crunch mm -hmm. so that it's not just like eating baby food, so, okay. which yeah. is not very, you know, appealing to <laughs> no, me. No, no, no. So, so while this is finishing, you uh -huh. can make the sauce that goes with okay. it, which is also very simple. It is Greek yogurt, and you use the whole cup. Just to make it easy, you use the whole cup of Greek yogurt, then one grated uh, clove of garlic. Okay, so I can't just take it out of the jar. Oh, don't talk to me about the jarred garlic. <laughs> no, no, okay, don't buy I won't that. I talk to you about that You know that why? Because it doesn't taste like garlic. I'm serious. It's full of sodium and preservatives, it's, so it's, shame on you. It's so much work the I, other way. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not. I, I do that with but people hey, in class do, all the time. I grate all my cheese. I don't get any cheese out of a bag. Okay, so well, there's that. One step, right? <laughs> yeah, there's that. And then we're going to use real lemons. I, I use real lemons, Real too. lemons, okay. So we can, uh, we, we're going to use a couple wedges of lemon. And this is to give it a little bit more of an acid kick uh -huh. and to thin it. Okay. Um, because you can use this, you can pour it over the top, but you can also use it as a dip. Mm -hmm. Then a little salt and pepper. And do you use kosher salt? Yes, I do. Why do you use kosher salt versus like a, just a sea salt or a fine? A table salt, well, a sea salt is, is great too. Um, Table salt is round uh, in structure, mm -hmm. and so it takes more of it to get salty flavor. Okay. And so this way, kosher salt dissolves because of its shape. Uh -huh. It's a flaked salt, basically. Um, and so it dissolves faster. You don't have to use as much. Okay. That's a question that I ask myself, and I've never Googled every time I cook anything with kosher salt. So thank you for that. Yeah, <laughs> sure. I'm, I'm here for you. <laughs> yeah, so that's really all it takes uh -huh. is that little bit. I'm going to turn this off so okay. it doesn't over. And cook. we'll bring Leanne and anybody else who wants to come They're in. They're like cauliflower. It's, it's oh no, not time, everyone right? loves cauliflower. Very you know. excited because <laughs> then we'd heard that you know not it, this may not be uh, for everyone, but I think I love cauliflower, it's and awesome. I think it'll be fun to have this different. Yeah, and so you can use, uh, like I said, you can use the um, the garlic yogurt sauce as a dip, or you can pour it over the top. It's kind of up to you how much you like that kind of wow. flavor. Mm. I'm going to dip. Oh, my little, goodness. I pretty much only eat yeah. raw Sorry. cauliflower, so yeah, I didn't go. even know you could cook it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I knew you could cook <laughs> it. <but. laughs> sure Where, you did. <laughs> Where did this come from? Wow. That's Isn't very that great? good. That is so delicious. Now, good. Do you typically eat it warm? Um, you can uh, you can eat it like as a side with I with know. grilled foods or you know <laughs> so it's warm. But it's all okay to you know kind of make it like it's a little um, like almost like a chip mm -hmm. or something. Mm -hmm. You could get it really crispy like mm -hmm. in an air fryer yeah, right. and do kind of the same thing. You have an air fryer. I do. And it look oh. The, um, mm. 
put down the floor. See, we're worried about double dipping. Here. I know. This is like, oh, is that man. what we're worried about? <laughs> here, just scoop it into your cup, just like that. For more recipes, check out thegirlcancook.com and newson6.com slash recipes. We've got all the details there that you need. And very don't cool. use your garlic out of a jar. Right. Another lesson learned today. Exactly. Right. Very nice. Yeah. Thank it you. It is great. Very yeah. tease, but it looks like I'm... A man is adventuring <laughs> in style when he wore while climbing 13,000 feet up a mountain. Mm, and a dog having a blast in some freshly fallen snow. Where's that, Alan? Not um, here. Colorado. <laughs> it's Colorado. Mm. We're going to tell north? you more. Yeah, okay. Okay, I'm just going to...